It's the last day of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics tomorrow, and among the U.S. delegates that will be attending the closing ceremony is White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Earlier today, in Korea's Alpine town, she held a press briefing to drive home the message that the U.S. intends to keep up its pressure on North Korea. Lee Ji-won reports from Pyeongchang. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders and U.S. Senator James Risch met with reporters at the U.S. House in Pyeongchang on Saturday to deliver President Trump's message for this Olympics. Sanders first gave a quick recap of their dinner with President Moon Jae-in the previous night. She said Ivanka Trump passed on a personal message from President Trump, particularly regarding the latest U.S. sanctions on the North. We're going to continue a campaign of maximum pressure. Uh, the latest sanctions are the strongest uh, that we have had on North Korea. We're going to continue in that form. This comes as the U.S. on Friday announced new sanctions against 27 entities, 28 vessels, and one individual suspected of helping North Korea evade existing sanctions. Though the delegates did not elaborate on the specifics of the phase two President Trump had mentioned, Rich said nobody wants military action, but simply added the president is very committed to denuclearizing the North. When asked about the South Korean leader's response to their strategy, Rish quoted what President Moon had been saying all along, that they will work together and work as one to try to accomplish what needs to be done and has to be done. To the question on the U.S. response on North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's invitation to President Moon, Sanders said dialogue could be helpful, but the message and goal of denuclearization must be maintained. While there's growing speculation on the possibility of exchanges between the North Korean and the American delegates, Sanders said nothing is planned as of now. The delegates, including the first daughter, spent the rest of their day cheering for American athletes by watching them compete in the big air snowboarding and men's curling, together with South Korea's First Lady Kim Jong-suk and Foreign Minister Kang Kyung-hwa. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News, Pyeongchang.